Hello, I'm author Sebastian Decker and I have a special affection for the London Muse. Muse style is about a way of life, both past and present. And I'm going to show you some London Muse to give you a sense of diversity, style and variety of these special London streets. In the 18th and 19th centuries, elegant houses like this were the height of London's sophistication and accommodated some of the country's richest and most powerful families. Unlike the architecture of the main squares and terraces, Mews were built on a more human scale, never intended to be seen from afar and date from an age when horsepower was measured strictly in single figures. These cobbled streets are tucked out of sight, often behind ornate classical arches, so as not to interfere with the integrity of the terrace. The term Mews first appears in connection with the Royal Mews when it was situated at Charing Cross. This was where the royal falcons were mewed or left to shed their plumage. After a fire in 1537 destroyed his stables in Bloomsbury, Henry VIII transformed the royal mews into the royal stables. This new generic term of stables and coach houses being referred to as mews came to be well known in the 17th century, increasing in popularity for the next 250 years. The Oxford English Dictionary refers to mews as a set of stabling around an open yard, now often converted into dwellings. And today, the term mews is associated with some of the city's most unique and desirable properties. Duncan Petrie heads up Savile's Muse Sales Department. I think the sense when you walk down a typical London Muse Street is of charm of something that's typically English with a great period atmosphere. The houses mirror one another as they're laid out. These muse houses used to be stabling and somewhere to store the carriages on the ground floor with servant accommodation above and also storage for the hay and the foodstuffs for the animals and hence a lot of them have got first floor doorways where they would have put the hay. Muse are generally named after one of the principal streets which they back onto and most but not all have the word muse in their name. Some even evoke their equestrian past, Cheval Place in Knightsbridge, for example. The main house was shielded from the sounds and smells of the stables. Mews were generally constructed slightly below street level and the cottages seldom had rear windows. However, after the decline of the horse and carriage and the emergence of the motor car at the end of the 19th century, so the need to keep stables diminished. After a period of unpopularity, they became the ideal solution for those looking for a house in the fashionable areas of London. What they lacked in 21st century comfort, they certainly made up for a novelty. What a lot of people don't really realise is that they're not listed in the majority of cases. So you've got quite free reign to reorganise and align the spaces as you wish. So you've got good scope to make a number of changes internally. As developers and owner-occupiers have, have adapted their muse houses, they've tended to go for a more contemporary, minimalist look, but certainly those that hang on to period features with ironwork and nice timber really, really draws the imagination of people. Today, there is also a new interpretation of the word muse, with the trend for so-called muse-style developments. They recall a bygone age, more compatible to the typical urban scene, without the obvious drawbacks of their predecessors. Well, Muse residents, they know themselves very lucky, they're effectively part of a club. They've got these lovely streets in the centre of London, somewhere to park the car, proximity to all the services and transport, as well as an amazing villagey feel. What more could you want? It is not hard to see why today Muse houses sit at the top end of the London property market. With all the benefits of the capital's rich history, together with privacy and beautiful contemporary interiors. Small wonder then that these once humble servants' quarters now belong to the masters. Mm -hmm.